the focus on Timo Werner. In a rich vein of form, a number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And hello, wherever you happen to be, our action comes to you from Thank Turf you. Moor here on the northwest of England. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Burnley taking on Chelsea. Oh, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Number 13. Eric well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Thiago Silva plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And now they get the ball rolling. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he was so sharp, the goalkeeper there, wasn't he? What a wonderful save. Cork. Well, that pass easy on the eye. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, goalkeepers call the post and the crossbar their friends. Not on this occasion. Clips the inside and goes in the back of the net. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. Really forceful play to win the ball back in that position. Now, oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. Looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And finishing like that with a lovely heady goal is absolutely superb. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Rafa. And opting for the lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him.
a goal accurate from the spot. We'll see it again here, Derek. Looks easy, doesn't it? I can tell you it isn't. I'm telling you now. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Attempting to play catch-up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, we've seen... Can he take advantage? Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. James Tarkovsky. Dale Stevens has it. And Chris Wood. Surely this is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick, and the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Still an opportunity. Interception to snuff out the danger. And the referee signals that this game is officially over. And disappointment for Chelsea, you've got to say. Nothing for them from this game. Yeah, there was not much in it for most of the game. I'm sure they'll feel they deserved at least a point from that. It's obviously very disappointing to concede in the manner they did so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.